Girth hitch the dead eye sling onto the porter wrap. To secure the porter wrap onto the tree with a cow hitch, start by passing the sling around the tree. Form a bite close to the girth hitch and pass the working end back around the tree. Enter the working end through the bite. To tighten the cow hitch, pull on the working end in the same direction you entered the bite. To finish the cow hitch, form two half hitches in between the bite and the girth hitch. It is imperative to the integrity of the cow hitch that you finish it off with two half hitches. If you don't have a long enough dead eye to complete a cow hitch, you don't necessarily need a longer sling, you just need a different hitch. The timber hitch takes longer to tie but uses less rope and is easy to remember. Start by passing the sling around the tree. Similarly to the cow hitch, you form a bite by changing directions. Instead of passing the working end back around the tree, you will start making wraps with the working end around the standing end, close to where the sling is girth hitched onto the porter wrap. Make at least five wraps, being sure to pull them away from the porter wrap to increase friction. An easy way to make the wraps is to pull on the standing end with one hand, creating an opening for you to insert the working end with the other hand. Do not make loose wraps that are bunched close together. This decreases friction, thus lowering the integrity of the hitch. If you have excess rope, you can make as many wraps as desired, or if you have enough to pass around the tree once more, you can make half hitches around the bite you formed close to the girth hitch. If you have any questions on porter wraps, see our separate video on porter wrap use.